So I'm uh, going to do my Land Rover pickup roof. I'm going to paint it alpine white, put a bit of body filler in it, just to take the little tiny dings and dents out. Um, I made a frightful mistake by using that filler over there that was absolutely useless. And um, But I've got to get a wriggle on and get that done. Why? We had some snow last night. <laughs> so the Aspenite that's on the top of the car is uh, not going to last another season, so I really want to get that done. Brrr. <laughs> so, there we go. So, let's have another look at this roof. The uh, paint I'm using is uh, Nason paint. There's the colour, there's the code for, uh, 456. Um, and there's the formula. But I'll tell you something, this is why I don't do painting anymore. I always farm painting jobs out, but this was. I can do that one myself in here, with a bit of luck. Um, what's that? How much is in there? It's not much. It doesn't say. Anyway, you can see how big it is. Those two articles there were a hundred dollars. <laughs> hundred bucks for that! And people say, well can you paint a car for a thousand dollars, Mike? I said, I can't even buy the materials. So anyway, let's uh, see what's happening. Uh, I'll just rough this down. Uh, I went across it with um, a 240 and then doing this doing this lot with uh, a 40 grit rough and then we'll go around it with a 240 finish it off dust it down and then we're going to give it a coat of high build uh, epoxy primer that's if it's any good still <laughs> I've never used my painting stuff for over a year anyway that's what it's like not a bad roof, it, it travelled quite well, but uh, yeah, just a little few dings and dents. But again, it's sort of white anyway, so it won't really show all that much. Right, let's get on with that. Well, as you can see here, I've got the roof and I've put some of this uh, <coughs> guide coat on it so I can sand it down and get all the imperfections out of it. However, it was minus 14 last night and uh, it, it's warm enough to work, but not warm enough to dry paint. We've got the space heater on. I'll dry it out. Oh, sorry, no. uh, it comes on just in short bursts. It's not on permanently because it's really warm in here now. It's about 20 odd degrees, but this uh, Evercoat product, you like the grey epoxy primer or whatever you want to call it polyester spray and filler ah uh, man that's it blocks up your discs if it's not dry it takes forever and ever but once you've broke that surface it's okay and I'm not sure if it's my proportions are right but if you can hear here it's not dry here I don't know why whether it's reacting with the paint underneath so I'm going to leave that for this morning See if we can drive it out, dry it out because I'm getting bloody desperate. I need to get some vehicles in and get some working work jobs done I've booked in. But I don't want to put this outside. I can't put it in the container because it's too cold. Mind you, it promises to be warmer next week, so I'll see how it happens, see what happens. I've left this panel for almost an hour in here now and it's a lot bit it's a lot warmer. But it's still not quite right. I have a problem. I really need to get this roof on this car but the rest is dry it's just one patch for some reason I don't know if it's reacting with something underneath I might repeat myself but I've thought of something and I don't know if it's going to work but I've got here some old alpine white in a can and it's still liquid and it's still pretty good I'm thinking about just going over this panel take off the high spots if there's any runs in the polyester and then put some of this on the top the thing is around the periphery around the outside like under here and around there that's really good but the top's a bit dodgy <laughs> I don't know why I, don't, I really don't know but if I can paint around the edges and put a, a, just a flash coat across the top to stop the weather getting in. Come springtime, 
I can do it again whilst it's on the car. I can just mask off around the edge of the roof and just do it again. But time is against me. It really is. I mean, it's winter now. I should have done this in spring. Unfortunately, I didn't have it. So that's my plan. And I can't think of any other better, you know, better way to do it. I don't want to have a vehicle outside for another winter with bloody aspirinite on the roof. And I want the doors, seals on and things like that to just to box that car up. Stop the weather getting in. Sometimes you have to do things you don't really like doing, but send it, what's the answer? Send it down to a body shop? Could do. Could do. Charge me a fortune for doing it. I'm going to do it like Frank Sinatra. I'm going to do it my way. Got a bit of paint on it. <laughs> it's a bit dry, but I didn't put any thinner in it. It was just paint and hardener. This is not really showing you how to do it. It's just a record for me seeing see what it was like. Man, it was cold with the doors open. I had that door open, I had the bottom door open, so there was a draft. I had the space heater on. Man, there was one good thing about snowing outside. There's no dust outside to blow in. But, um, yeah, let's come back to this and see if it'll sand down tomorrow. All right. Now I'm going to keep going backwards and forwards on this video because I don't know where I'm going because it's taken so long to make about painting this roof and preparing this truck cab. Um, I don't know where I am in this video but I think I did a section on, I put some just old urethane white paint uh, on this roof and it wouldn't dry. In fact it took five days before I could actually sand it. It's been pretty cold, um, but uh, I couldn't put it out in the sunshine because it was too cold outside, so it stayed in the shop, which is about 17 degrees. Uh, but I think it was a mixture of bad paint, maybe the wrong hardener, who knows. But anyway, it went off, and yesterday it warmed up here. Yes, it got to zero. So, I took advantage of that because I, I haven't got an extractor fan in this shop and it's not a shop for painting. It's alright for doing little bits and pieces but not for doing cars and panels and stuff like this. So I have to open the, the bottom shop door and this big door here to get a draft coming through. So I had that on, I had the space heater on at the same time, bellowing away. And uh, I want to just show you the results but I painted it with this gun out of the kit. Literally took it out of the box, screwed on the regulator, didn't even touch the valve, didn't even touch the volume here for the um, uh, paint quantity, nothing. Just mixed up some paint in a plastic pot to the... So I mixed it for one and a splash of thinner. I didn't put enough thinner in it. Now the reason for that was that uh, because it's cold, um, it might not flash off very quickly and therefore would lead to sags and runs and things like that, it's something we don't want. But anyway, this gun did very, very well. I was quite impressed. Um, better conditions, better setup, perhaps not so rushed, you could have got a good finish. But let's go and have a look at it and see what it looks like. It's got a little bit of orange peel in it and there's still a few dings and dints, but I'm not too bothered about that because it's my truck. All I wanted it was changing from black uh, to uh, alpine white, which was the original colour. But it's got that nice, thick, creamy texture on it, look. Uh, in fact, it's got a little bit of orange peel in it. That makes it just look like a Land Rover. But, uh, you know, for some sort of a perfectionist, if you wanted to, you could flatten polish that and it would come out quite nice. But for me, for a roof, I'm not bothered. I honestly, I'm not bothered at all. Um, so it's painted underneath as well. Yeah, like I said, you can see there's a few ripples in, but look at this. This, this is, these are, it's so, oh, oh that's right, I've got it on two, <laughs> I've got it on two milk cartons, that's why I can't press it down. But this, it's very, very flimsy. How they got away with it, I don't know. Anyway, that is good. So now, I can get on, and maybe today, get this fitted. 
I don't know. I've got to put the, um, uh, how do we say, the uh, rear window back together because I've got all the parts yesterday, all the parts came. So let's get this off the bench and let's get on with that back window. So here we are. Curtis swung by yesterday. What a stroke of luck that was. So we plonked the, sh the cab top on and we put some old door seals on. And as you can see, <laughs> orange peel or not, it don't matter, does it? <laughs> it's all covered in ice now. Uh, yeah, it fitted quite well actually. I was quite surprised. I've got a few, I, I've only got like <laughs> two bolts in front and the back. But, uh, hey, you know, a few finger marks on it. But again, look, you see, you can't see the damn top. As long as the sides are all right. <laughs> An old trick we used to do in England when we used to paint cars was we always polish the driver's side really, really well because that's the part that the driver used to see. So anyway, that's on. I've just got to reset my door gaps because this is a bit low and you see it's tilted a bit. But after that, it'll keep that snow out. That's what I want. All I need now is that damn shaft for that gearbox. I wish you'd get a wriggle on and get it finished. If you're watching this video, get that bloody shaft done and get your car on the road. <laughs> all right, so that's good. That can sit there all winter now, I don't care. So we'll see you in the next video. Take care, ta-da!